This video is brought to you by the Ultimate Nature Creature Add-on Bundle for Blender, Spider Fi Plus Nasarga Lite, available for download on BlenderMarket.com. Alright guys, let's create a dynamic grass system that moves based on the proximity of an animated 3D object blowing them around. In your Blender scene, add a plane where you want your dynamic 3D grass system added. I'll add mine right below my animated helicopter for the strongest effect. Rename this plane if you like. Now with this plane selected, go to your particle tab and add a new particle system. Switch the particle type to hair, select the advanced checkbox so we have a bit more control, and input the number of grass particles you would like in the emission number setting. Now let's instance some grass assets on our particle system. I'll import a few Nasarga Lite add-on grass assets. If you are using this add-on, make sure to select the editable option before you spawn the various assets into your scene. Select all the nature assets that you want to instance and add them to a new collection. I'll call mine Nature Instances. Now select your grass particle system once again and go to your render options in the particle tab. Switch the render as type to collection and select the collection you have added your assets to as the instance collection. If your instance's orientations are off, select each instance and under their relations in the object properties tab, you can change their tracking axis to the correct one. To add some more randomness to your grass, go to your particle settings and increase the scale randomness. You can increase the scale of your grass as well to get your desired look. Now let's add some force fields to dynamically move the grass around based on the particle's proximity from our helicopter. Add a basic force field to the scene. Go to the physics properties tab and increase the strength of the force field. Now the grass system dynamically moves away from this force. Now parent this force field to the helicopter itself and as the helicopter moves the grass will be pushed away from it. To add some violence to the force field let's add a modifier to its strength setting. Add a keyframe for the strength of the force field. Go to the graph editor and add a noise modifier on the strength. Adjust the scale and strength of the noise modifier on the grass accordingly to get large scale random movement on your grass system. I'll make my scale around 10 and strength around 7. Now to add more violent small scale movement, increase the noise amount setting on your force field. Next enable the maximum distance setting for your force field and slowly increase the value until you like the distance away from the helicopter that the grass particles are being affected. To create even more random movement on your grass particle system, add a turbulence force field to your scene. Parent this to your helicopter as well, and then increase the strength of your turbulence field, as well as the noise amount, to add more randomness to your grass particle movement. Finally, enable the maximum distance option on this turbulence force field as well, and increase the distance so that it goes just past the initial force field that you added previously. Anyways guys, that's how you can create an awesome dynamic grass system that is blown around based on proximity from an object. I hope it was helpful. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. Subscribe if you're interested in more visual effects and filmmaking content, and I'll see you next time.